different than at Lumen Field. It will make for a different game. Starting lineups and first half kickoff is next in the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup semifinal. Seattle hosting LAFC. LAFC under pressure. Jao Paulo will no doubt be the stalwart in the midfield, but up top it is all about Rusnik, Morris, linking, creating with one, with one another and executing their opportunities. And also about that width provided by one of the Breakout stars of the season for Seattle in Paul Rothrock. Here is our match to referee, Ricardo Fierro. He's refereed seven games in Major League Soccer and gets the big assignment here of the semifinal. There is Kevin Stott in the VOR room in North Texas in case any big decisions need further examination. And that takes us into the LAFC lineup. It's six changes from the League's Cup final at the weekend. Loris, Chano, Long, Palencia, and Buanga, the players that stay. Well, with the big turnaround between games, the big question is going to be how do they handle that? Their mentality, the first 15 minutes is going to be important. I do expect them to sit back, compact, to deal with the pressure of Seattle. That means the two center mids of Tillman, O'Brien, they're going to have to stay connected to that back line. But up top, Kamara, he'll be the focal point to allow for balls to be played into him and then runners off of him. No Olivier Giroud in the lineup tonight, nor on the bench for LAFC. Came off carrying something of a knee knock in that League's Cup final at the weekend. Also out is Jesus Murillo, whose injury looked a bit more serious as we're underway with this Open Cup semifinal with the right to host the final. It's Seattle hosting LAFC. Just as a bit of a comparison, this dimension of this surface does compare to something like the Copa America that we saw this summer. It's about five yards narrower and six yards shorter in your regulation pitch. Just condenses everything. It's a free kick given. Well, Buonga with a chance to lift a set piece. A decent crossing position here. LAFC sending all their center backs forward. Try and win in the air and get the first goal in this fixture yet again. Here is Buanga's delivery into that near post and roll down one in the air. Still work to do for Thomas who punches up to Kamara and it's headed off the line and still there for O'Brien. Cards in Mal's moment there for Seattle who have just about dealt with the danger. Oh, did Kamara catch that? And now Seattle want to go quickly. Rothrock to the floor. Free kick awarded. They're asking. There's Rusnak's delivery. Into the heart of that area, it's Kamara who won the header. Vargas, and it will be the halftime whistle that comes first. Plenty of intensity, but not too many obvious goal scoring chances. And Holding up play, allowing them to be able to build up and play in behind. As we are underway with the second 45 minutes in this Open Cup semifinal. It's back to that point that we are making in the first half is Seattle Sounders don't want to get into this back and forth game with LAFC and open themselves up. Just find moments when you can keep possession. If you need to alleviate pressure, then yes, go long, but make sure you have good spacing behind the ball. Otherwise, you open yourself up, and, and nothing came of it, but this is a, you know, the, a longer bout of possession for LAFC just to create the tempo once again that they're looking for. Some of the details that we heard Mark Dos Santos talk about to be able to get control of this game. Late one left in there on Alex Roldan. Referee Fierro coming over to deal with it. Buanga with the appeal. Roldan getting the ball down the line. And, ooh, that's a breaking challenge, yeah. challenge in there. No booking given there for that tackle. That's a bit of a let off there for Buanga. Roldan in towards Morris, but Chanel strong in the air. That back three has been relentless in the air. Here's Christian Roldan from range, taking the strike on it. Sticking the gloves there of Lloris, who handled calmly. Well, it's great positioning from Christian Roldan because no one can step. They have to decide if they're just going to stay and keep their back line intact. Even better decision from Jao Paulo because he was looking to float that ball in behind to Jordan Morris. Instead, 
keeps it moving, and, and now that could potentially loosen the back line, either force him to step out to Christian Roldan next time, and then be able to find Jordan Morris. Roldan falls over. Referee says, we play on O'Brien now. Seattle bench is right there in the strong protests, and now it's going to be given as a throw to LAFC, and I think the referee just over to try and... The Sounders in terms of their game plan, but still able to keep possession, just slow down the tempo at times. Is going to see a foul and another opportunity for LAFC to line this one up for a set piece. It's just a little bit left in there. Um, this tackle, just a bump there with... Rothrock and Palencia, those two came very well acquainted in the first half and free kick awarded in a decent crossing position now. Luanga over each and every set piece. <laughs> to the final half hour of this semifinal. Referee will now delay the taking here as O'Brien went down. They'll try and sort through any contact there. Buwanga into the heart of that area and came for Long and Tillman and beaten away there by Thomas at full stretch. A couple of dangerous opportunities for LAFC have come from set pieces. Oh, and that's where they've looked the most dangerous. These balls whipped in through traffic, difficult to deal with. You've seen a couple players for LAFC on that left-hand side making their way through. Cheneau being one of them, so it's such an important touch from Thomas. As Cheneau, it was going to be able to get on the end of it, potentially redirect that on frame. Well done from Thomas getting the push off, extended. Pursuing set piece, and it's over from Segura. It lands on the roof of the net. Right now, the biggest threat in this match is coming from LAFC set pieces. Well, it really starts with just the, the ball whipped in. With pace, a slicker field. Oh, so many bodies inside the 18-yard box, 6-yard box. Imagine a talking point, though, for both head coaches coming into the second half especially with the chippiness of this game, a lot of the fouls, if they are in an area where you can whip them in, make sure you whip them in with pace to give your teammates an opportunity. Anywhere will do. Wonder when the cavalry might arrive for LAFC from the bench. Have quite a few options. There's that cross whipped in. It comes all the way through. Chanel will leave it for the strike of Bogush. Shouts for handball. It's given us a penalty. An opportunity coming from the spot for LAFC. The arms were up, and the referee points to the spot. And let's see the incident now. It's the strike from Bogush. Difficult to see. Here would be the best view of it. Oh, it looks like that arm is tucked in from Alex Roldan. Yeah, uh, I think actually. So dominated Seattle Sounders. And a chance now to give LAFC the lead. Here's Denny Buwanga. Thomas gets the right way, but that is flawlessly taken from Denny Buwanga. And LAFC look to have done it again on their way to a fourth win against Seattle this year and maybe a spot in the Open Cup final. Into Manungu. Just lost his footing, but can keep it here with Christian Roldano whip the cross and into Jordan Morris! And the referee appears to have waved it off. Well, how many times throughout this game have we talked about serving balls in, but finding the width initially 
you get that run that opens up the space in behind. What a delivery that is from Christian Roldan right into the path of Jordan Morris. Thomas will stop it. Referee looks at his watch. He looks like he'll let it go. Morris has got a win in the air. It's down for Elie. Smashes it into the night sky. And LAFC 